CBS Colorado investigates catalytic converter thefts. While the number of the thefts across our state remains high, they are actually trending down. In the first six months of the year, investigators recorded nearly 1,500 thefts. That's good news when you consider that last year the total number of thefts was nearly 6,500. Well, tonight, your reporter in Jefferson County and CBS Colorado investigator Karen Morfed is looking into this decline. Three different bills all designed to curb catalytic converter theft went into effect last October. Five different law enforcement agencies launched programs under one of those bills, and we wanted to see if their efforts were working. The stories about catalytic converter theft are endless. Cars parked in driveways, vans used to help struggling families and travelers who continue to be targeted at the Denver International Airport. It happens every five minutes. Randall Kosara's 2013 Prius was hit. He later learned it's a model thieves are searching for, and finding a replacement wouldn't happen overnight. I had to wait for about three months, two and a half months, to get the catalytic converter put on at the Toyota dealership because of the demand for those cats worldwide. According to the Colorado Auto Theft Prevention Authority, also known as CATPAW, in 2021, Colorado's catalytic converter thefts hit an all-time high. 9,810 thefts were reported. Kale Gould is the group's public outreach coordinator. Catalytic converter theft is very hard to track. You know, we do have some numbers as far as increases over the last few years, but we know those numbers are incomplete due to, A, reporting incompatibilities within law enforcement, seeing, you know, there's not a centralized system for catalytic converter theft. The numbers prompted lawmakers to introduce a series of bills in 2022 designed to help deter theft and provide funding to do so. Five law enforcement agencies from across the state were awarded the money. $300,000 is fairly limited. It was a good jumping start, a jumping place. While the majority focused on educational and prevention programs like distributing etching kits and stickers to help track stolen converters, others have devoted resources to investigations, creating units devoted to tracking where those converters are going, deploying bait vehicles and inspecting businesses. Within six months of receiving the funding, one of those agencies has uncovered and is currently investigating a potential catalytic converter theft ring. In addition, more than 150 victims have received direct assistance. Kozara had to pay out of pocket. You would never think a car that's 13 years old, you'd have to worry about something stolen off the car, but here it is. It's crazy. Much of the funding will return next year, and while there are far too many victims for everyone to receive assistance, those forms will open up again. We have more information online on how you can apply at cbscolorado.com. In Jefferson County, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.